Hi guys, Sci-Fi Recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain an intriguing thriller and horror fiction Thailand series from Girl From Nowhere Season 1, called Wonderwall. Because it is an anthology series, each episode will present a different story and you will be able to understand the storyline without having to watch the previous episodes. This episode has an unpredictable plot twist, watch it till the end to find out. The movie begins with a girl asking in the back sound about, what things that we value the most as a human? Is it success, love, or something else? A short-haired girl named Bam, is currently a manager at her school's football team. Bam seems to have interest with one of the players, oh, as she puts more attention to him than other players, which makes them very jealous, claiming that she does not care about her duty as a manager. Bam then asks O to have ice cream together, but rejected because he already has an appointment with her mom. Moments later, their coach, Vinay, approaches them and introduces a new manager to the team. She is Nano, a beautiful girl who is currently in the same grade as Bam. Bam's jealousy and hatred towards Nano grows because O and other players show more interest in Nano because she is so open, cheerful, and fair. Here, the back sound girl states that what drives a human the most is hatred. The team plans to conduct a welcoming party to Nano. O, who previously mentioned that he had a schedule with her mom, suddenly would join the party with Nano. This makes Bam feel even angrier towards Nano. Because Nano is new to the team, Bam becomes lazy as she only gives orders to Nano who does all the jobs alone. Seeing Bam not helping Nano at all, O comes towards her and offers help. He even blames Bam for what she did. Filled with hatred towards Nano, Bam runs to the bathroom. As she spots random writing on the wall, she starts to write hate speech on the same wall, wishing Nano to have a smelly face. Later on, Nano meets Bam and sees her writing on the wall, Suddenly she shows a frightening smile. Before sleeping, she writes in her diary about her encounter with Nano, claiming that Nano is her worst enemy and it was satisfying because Nano saw what she wrote on the wall earlier. The next day at school, Bam suddenly smells something disgusted as she passes by Nano. At first, she thinks that it's the smell of the shirt. Suddenly, O sees them and Bam pretends to help Nano to show his kindness towards the new co-manager. After helping, she realizes that the smell is not from the shirt as it is just being washed. Later on, Bam finally realizes that the smell is actually from Nano. At first, everyone thinks that Bam is the one who makes the disgusting smell. Then, the boy realizes too that the smell is from Nano. Nano finally figures out that the smell comes from her face. She then runs away from the group. Bam discovers that what she wrote on the wall earlier has become reality. She then writes on the wall hoping that O would fall in love with her. Later on, Coach Vinay asks Bam about Nano's performance as the new manager. Suddenly, a ball is kicked towards Bam and O manages to block the ball with his body. But, O's intention was actually to protect the coach, not Bam. This means that what she wrote earlier on the wall wouldn't come true. In addition, Bam's friend, Tang, is teasing her because she gets nosebleed just because the boy she likes gets close to her. He also frontally says that he would choose to protect a dog instead of her because Bam is not a good person. Furious with the statement, Bam wildly runs into the bathroom and writes Tang as a dog. Suddenly, school's situation becomes chaotic as Tang suddenly behaves like a dog while playing football and has to be taken to the hospital. After this, Bam realizes that everything she writes on the wall will come true if it contains hate speech. To prove her silly thought, at lunchtime, Bam sees Nano is sitting alone and writes Nano as a dog on the table, but nothing happens. The next day, Bam is going to write something on the wall when suddenly she hears a group of girls is bullying someone because of giving wrong homework answers. Bam approaches the girl and shares the wall secret to the bullied girl, claiming that sometimes the writing becomes reality, but she gets ignored and the girl walks away. Later on the day, the stink smell from Nano has disappeared as the boy approaches her for a drink without any complaint and Tang is not acting like a dog again. Bam immediately rushes back to the bathroom, finding the writing has been erased by the cleaner. She tells the cleaner not to clean the writing, but it's actually her job to do that. The cleaner then threatens her that she would tell everything to the teacher. After school, the cleaner tells about Bam's behavior to the coach and he urges Bam to apologize to the cleaner, but she refuses. Instead, she runs towards the bathroom and writes something bad on the wall again. A few moments later, Bam suddenly feels frightened because the cleaner hangs herself on the school hall. Seeing what Bam just wrote on the wall, the bullied girl approaches Bam and starts to believe her. Turns out that previously Bam wished the cleaner to suffocate to death on the wall and it came true. Nano sadly asks Bam why the cleaner committed suicide as she is a very good person and still has young children at home. Bam starts to feel horribly wrong, 
So she runs to the bathroom and wipes the writing on the wall immediately. After leaving the room, Bam hears other students' conversation claiming that the cleaner is suddenly alive like nothing happened. Afterwards, Bam accidentally sees Nano and O, oh, flirting towards each other. Suddenly, Nano is screaming and running away with shame because her face is full of pimples. Without a doubt, the culprit is Bam, who is having no regret of what she just caused earlier. In the middle of the night, Bam wakes from her sleep and unexpectedly finds Nano and the cleaner sitting in front of her. Nano asks her why she killed the innocent janitor and she keeps asking the same question over and over again until Bam really wakes up from the nightmare. While studying, suddenly a female student jumps out of the window. Bam immediately runs towards the bathroom to find out the culprit, but she meets the bullied girl claiming that the wall is working. It turns out that the suicidal girl was the bully and the bullied girl is the one who wrote it. After that horrendous event, a lot of students begin to come to the bathroom and many students start to behave strangely. It turns out that all of the students already know about the wall magic and the situation is now out of control. It even causes the principal's death. Bam confronts the bullied girl and discovers that she is the one who spreads information about the Wonderwall to everyone. The girl claims that it is satisfying to make bad people pay for what they have done to other people. Bam goes to the bathroom and sees a lot of harsh words written on the wall, one of them is subjected to O. She immediately runs to O and forces him to stop playing again and go home. Instead of helping, suddenly Bam causes O to fall into the ground and scream badly. Everyone panics and she spots a pen. Then she questions one of O's friends who seems suspicious and asks him to clean the writing immediately, but he does not answer and continues helping O. Feeling guilty, Bam runs towards the bathroom and intends to wipe all the writing on the wall. But, she finds words that prevent anybody from wiping everything because they will die if they try to clean the wall. Hopeless, she then sits alone at the football field, regretting everything she had caused. Suddenly, Nano approaches her and asks her what happened to her. Bam apologizes and confesses everything to Nano, but Nano starts to laugh like a mad woman. Nano claims that all bad things happened were caused by Bam and challenges Bam to admit her mistake and erase everything on the wall if she dares. Bam confidently accepts the challenge and quickly runs towards the bathroom, but Nano shouts to everyone that Bam is going to erase all the words on the wall. Everybody starts to chase Bam to prevent her from erasing all the hate words. She tries so hard to wipe the words, but fails. So Bam decides to write some words on the wall and after a while, all the knocks on the door suddenly disappear. She then walks downstairs but can't find anybody, everyone vanishes, except Nano. She then desperately walks home and discovers that herself is also disappearing as she can't see the image of her in the mirror. At the end, we discover that the sentence she wrote on the wall was I wish everyone would disappear and she finally had it. Alone in the world, hopeless, and desperate. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.